Hey, howdy. Hey, everybody, man. It's been a while. So we bring to you Young Blood Podcast for the first time from Colorado. My good boy, Peter Torres, has uh, been a big fan of the show from the start, actually. He's uh, been a big follower and a big friend of mine for close to four years now. Uh, he came out to visit here in Colorado, and I made a point to get him on the show and to get him out here for you guys. So uh, we talked about a few things, and you know, it sucked because I didn't—I almost didn't have a chance to get him on here. Um, we had to wake up real early before he flew out uh, and make this happen. So uh, it's not as long of an episode as I would like it to have been, uh, but. That's all right. You know, it's, uh, it's not a matter of how long you get with somebody. It's about a matter of seeing them at all. Uh, and time is short these days and getting to see your friends is, is uh, very important. So here's from my house to your platform, uh, Young Blood Podcast, everybody. Peter Torres. Enjoy. night but we just we got really tired we've really been adventurous this we walked this a lot man we've been walking we got our we got our steps in yeah we got our steps in um and then i even have to I have to take you straight to the airport right after the second we'll, we stop recording this yeah for real that's gonna be wild it's good thing it's only 20 minutes away yeah it's not a bad drive man it's quick it's easy it's fast and simple and good thing you told me to switch the airports too oh good god denver airport is the absolute worst thing you can imagine to go to it's it's the lax of the northwest oh yeah but dude that that shit has a subway in it like what the fuck it does it's got a lot of things that tripped me out when i first um, landed here the first time i don't know enough of it to speak on it but apparently there's a lot of things in the denver airport that oh, there's, some weird shit. <laughs> there's a lot of things i guess there were some murals that they painted over that was like everyone talked about oh no i'm talking about like the contractors that um had their jobs down in the sub basements of the denver airport Whoa. and weren't allowed to talk about it and stuff and they built all these stuff and things and tunnels and whatnot and oh, fuck. Dude, and i don't want to say passageways but just things that were under the airport that nobody has access to or really talks about and there's hmm. people who built it you know people have been in there but there's people who use it that don't talk about it currently and Whoa, that's weird yeah, there's all kinds That's of really you, have you so did you notice how big the Denver airport is, dude? It's ginormous, bro. It's fucking huge, bro. And if you're saying it goes that if it goes deeper, it's even bigger than we think it is. It's I am not a conspiracy theorist, but mm-hmm. I am not a um I am not someone not to believe in facts and I've seen some things and heard some things and at this point the, the I think the government's just so used to us just being like, well, as long as it doesn't affect me, I don't care. Yep. You know, and the best place to hide shit is in plain sight. So yeah, because if it sounds so far fetched that it's impossible to be true mm-hmm. in today's society, then it's not true. It and that's what that's what just some people think. They look at it mm-hmm. like there's no way, and it's like that didn't happen. And then they're like, "Oh, look, aliens are real!" Wow, <laughs> dude, the whole U- the UFO like uh, Supreme Court shit's what, fucking wild. Like the hearing, have you been paying attention to any of that? Honestly, no. Okay. I feel like I should. It's a, uh, it's kind of ridiculous though because, <laughs> it's just pilots going. I saw something. Yes, I did. It flew weird. <laughs> and I'm like, can you expand any more details? He's like, I cannot de- declassify this information. I'm like, the hell. <laughs> but there's like seven pilots from like recently who said like 2014, 16, 18, seen all the weird shit out there. But I believe them. Like I'm sure there's some weird shit. Oh, man. I mean, at this point, there's always been some weird shit, but what are they going to show us? You know, what's going to be, what's all going to be revealed? What are we going to, what piece of little information of the pie, the pie, information pie, are we going to get, man? Like, Mm. there's a, they seem to be slicing it off piece by piece just to keep us occupied, to keep us busy, to keep us not paying attention. That's annoying as fuck. You know, so it's like every time there's some heat on somebody, it's like, hmm, would you guys like a little taste of alien? <laughs> Next thing we know, they're going to introduce one to us and be like, yeah, this is Bill. He's been around the whole fucking time. Um, <laughs> he just, he works in office. He's, uh, he's really nice. He's a killer sales guy. <laughs> um, he's got three kids. His wife's awesome. Um, she's, she's human. Uh, but this is Bill, guys. He's an alien as fuck. Um, 
you know, it's just normal. Everybody's gonna trip out on that for a little while, and then we're gonna move on to the next fucking. You have the third eye, but you'll get used to it. No, he's got no third eye. <laughs> he's just a fucking alien, and he's here. They're just gonna, <laughs> and they're, they're, that's exactly how they're gonna tell us too. They're gonna be like, yeah, this is Bill. He's an alien, by been, the way. Been here 15, 30 years now. <laughs> yeah, they're everywhere. Working at the corner stores. The bodegas. Your everywhere. teachers. Dating your dad. Dating your dad. <laughs> they're all around, guys. Yeah. Called it. Today. Wow, so that's literally how they're going to come out. It's so casually like, oh, yeah, they've been here. Oh, yeah. The next time they need a distraction, dude. It's Bill. You seen uh, District 13? 12? District 12? Is that the... That alien sh- movie? That show? Oh, it's a movie. I thought it was a show. No, the alien movie. Oh, District 12 when they have like the, the alien take over like, LA and stuff? Yeah, yeah that yeah, was tight. That. There's that's like a, a staff movie. sergeant leading it's everything? Been, it's been something like 13 years since that came out, bro. 13 years since that movie came out? Wow. Get that spinning. Yeah. Dude, that's such a trip. I, I remember watching that movie, and it kind of freaked me out. <coughs> how realistic it looked. Oopsies, I dropped a little bit of dabs on my table. Good thing I didn't drop it on the soundboard. Yeah, that's good. No, this isn't a whole new setup, man. I used to have um, <coughs> quite, the, <coughs> quite the gig, dude. And now, I mean, I have, I have a much better setup. Essentially, mm-hmm. as far as technology goes, like, I have upgraded. Yeah, you, you've been on the up with your tech, bro. Yeah, my tech is there, so... Like, if I wanted to do, um, I need to try it maybe switching from OBS to doing, um, NVIDIA Broadcaster, because I have a really nice graphics card, mm-hmm. I, I'm re- currently recording on my PC, um, and with the power of the PC that I have, I can, I can Dude, blur out all the background, all kinds of fun shit, and I haven't even had a chance to play with it. Use and abuse that PC, bro. I mean, essentially, I built it for the podcast years ago, and mm-hmm. it's, um... Mm-hmm. Probably got about four times as power as I had when I first built it. Holy shit. Uh, That's insane. Yeah, it's, I've upgraded quite a bit. I, I I built it as a budget PC back then, and it was what you call um, uh, a ricer of PCs. Like, a ricer? Yeah, like it looked nice, but it wasn't very fast. Mm. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, like, dude, you throw a fucking 4K video on the render, 17 hours later, it finished, but it's fine. Oh, it sounded loud, it looked cool, it's got lights underneath, and made you look look fancy schmancy, and it did the job. Ricer. Um, oh, that's hilarious. And now I could actually get the job done. Yeah, now, I've, well, I mean, I've got, I finally switched to DDR4, and I don't know if... Really? You uh, like it? I'm going to go nerd real deep real quick. Um, so, I have no idea what all people know and what they don't know. But to me, um, it's completely regular talk. But my computer before was on a DDR3 platform. And what that mm. means is the RAM was um, DDR3 and older. Uh, generation was uh, switching to DDR4 probably about, correct me if I'm wrong, close to 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. Um DDR4 was new 10 years ago, so I've still been using DDR3, which works great. There's still DDR3 uh, PCs out there that run okay. They, really? Yeah. Mm. They don't perform like today's uh, standards, but yeah. they can keep up in some ways. If you have the top of the line, most powerful PC from 10 years ago, you can still probably game on it. You know, That's, that's pretty solid advice, yeah. You know, it's not... You're not going to get the best frame rates and performance. It's going to be choppy and laggy, but it'll work. Yeah, it'll You'll work. be able to run the game, usually, for the most part. Run the game? Depending on the processor. Like, so, the main thing is, in the old old days, 10 years ago, oh, geez, I sound like I'm fucking old as hell. Uh, mm-hmm. but the main thing is, uh, processors that were for gaming back then, there was um, a line of processors that were dropped called the FX series. FX. Yeah, yeah, FX series processors. They're by AMD. Uh, and they're fantastic. They were great. They held up amazingly uh, priced to performance and whatnot. But they just absolutely got their asses kicked by Intel in many ways as far mm, as benchmark yeah. and whatnot. And I, short story long, eventually have switched over to uh, Intel. 
Um, oh, wow. Yeah, and I was able to get... Um, <clears throat> I was able to get a new graphics card, and I switched my graphics card from a, a NVIDIA 1060 to a NVIDIA 3060, which is two generations newer mm -hmm. um, and much, much better. Um, and the cool thing is I was able to trade that 1060 for the motherboard that I'm currently using. Um, oh, sweet. You know, it's a seventh generation motherboard. It's nothing fancy, right. but it's better than what I was using. I was using an FX series processor, mm -hmm. you know, so um, tax returns come around. I was able to pick up a, a, a refurbished, really good uh, seventh or an i7 uh, oh, yeah. processor. That's awesome. You know, so I'm really excited to try to see what um, capabilities I can do because I'm, you know, really excited to play a lot of what you got to do with. Uh, video rendering and editing uh, is you want to record in a better uh, a better quality and then if you don't have the capabilities of editing in, in 420 mm -hmm. or in uh, 1080 yeah 420 <laughs> <laughs> that's how now you, you know I'm stoned editing in fucking 1080 uh, or 720 um, you know and you have the capability to do 4K like I do you want to record in 4K if you have oh, it yeah. you do it you have it um, and even if you have 4k cameras and you can only edit in 1080 you want to record in 4k and edit it down you know because then you you, you always have more quality at that point no matter what yeah, yeah um so i have a lot of tinkering a lot of playing a lot of um adjusting to do but i did get all the the youtube the spotify the apple everything back up and running and oh sweet and um i have to double check if i'm still subscribed or it went down already no, I didn't lose. So, I mean, I went. They took me off of um, Spotify in a sense, like the show was available for search. But if you tried to play the episode, and I mean, within probably a couple weeks that that happened, because I'm pretty sure I oh, checked wow. on it pretty often to see if it was still there, and it was always still there. Mm, okay. Or like I talk about it with people, or somebody will ask me, and it comes up in conversation. So, I mean, I'll put okay. it's constantly around. Yeah. You know, and so I just. I think it'd been a, a close to a month since I'd seen it uh, or thought about it or anything. And I just mm -hmm. went to open it one day. I was like, or the day I went to open it was the day I decided to start back up. You know, I was okay. like, oh, well, good thing I did. That's sweet, man. I'm happy you starting this back up. It helps me keep track on how you're doing when I'm in I, California. <laughs> I feel like there's a couple people out there <laughs> that use this for that. Um, so, PD, um, yes, I've been saying um, so much. I need to be better. Uh, my brother, there's uh Quite a few, quite a few things I wanted to talk to you about today, but there's quite a few things that I'm not going to get to, uh, and that's, that's fine. That's all right. That's all right. We'll you know, all the time. I can zoom in. And that's okay. The matter, the fact of the matter is, we got you on. I was able to make this happen. You got everything set up. Everything's good. It takes usually almost just as long to set up the show as it does to um, record. And oh, then it wow. takes even longer to edit. It takes three times longer to oh, render. Gosh, yeah. And then uh, then there's the uploading the YouTube part that I don't want to talk about. <laughs> 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 but with content creation, there's a reason you get paid for it. I don't make any money. Uh, but there's a reason you get paid for it. And people uh, are out there doing it and making a living. You know, It's a lot of work. It's a lot of effort. And there's a lot of knowledge that goes in behind it. Yeah, man. Um, just, and see, I, just seeing you setting up like all the wiring, the camcorders, the table soundboard it was it was like a bitch and a half honestly just looking at that i cannot imagine how editing is going to go oh editing's the simple part because as long as i get the the re initial record down and it's all in one shot you know we're okay mm -hmm. okay uh and the best part is i don't have two three four cameras going like i used to yet and mm -hmm. right now it's just one uh, so I just can focus on the conversation, focus on taking a couple dabs here and there. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, it's a lot more laid back for now. Uh, before, I used to have it set up to where I had multiple camera angles. I had I didn't have a stream pad, and I thought that, that was a crazy thing. Like it's not like I went out and bought everything to start a podcast. At the time, I was I was literally fucking. I had a not a dollar to my name, so I just made what I had work, and I built. Uh, like every show I got a new gadget to try to add to the mm. show and every episode I added something yeah, yeah. to the editing and every episode I changed a little bit about the dynamic and, and how I talked and who I talked to was different every episode did you have an intro to the show? I do have an intro to oh, the show sick. I still have an intro it's going to be the same intro because at this mm. point 
Um, it's just my dad playing guitar, man. And it's oh, that's uh, solid. It's uh, it's impossible to to change in my eyes. Like it's not ever gonna be different. It's because mm-hmm. it was one day my dad and I were just chilling in my uh, parents' attic or my yeah. parents upstairs in their house over COVID because I was living with them over COVID instead of staying at my own crib. So mm-hmm. I was be by myself. Yeah, well, that would suck. Um, and so my dad was just ripping guitar, and it, that was the time when I was starting trying to learn how to figure out. The recording equipment and yeah. how to use it and when to use it and fuck sweet. around with the soundboard and I don't even know if I was fucking around with the soundboard if I had just bought the inverter that converts the analog audio into my computer. Mm. So I think that's what it was. I was just playing with that thing. Well, that's um, cool. It came out great though. Yeah, and he uh he had no idea I was recording it too. That was the funny part. I just kind of like snuck it in on him. That's pretty sick though. You get the best recordings of people like that when they're like jamming. Like in right, like that. right, and also, dude, my dad's killed it at the guitar. He, uh, he was telling me the other day a fun story. Uh, he called my mom. Calls me in the morning. She's like, "Are you awake?" Nine in the morning. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "Your dad went to work last night driving Uber and went and hung out with some dude and never came home." And I was oh, like, shit. "Huh? Interesting." Well, what the fuck? Sounds like there's a couple sides of that story. <laughs> you know, so I gave him a call. I'm like, call me when you get this, you know? Yeah. A couple hours goes by, and I'm talking to my mom. I'm like, mom, I'm sure he's just, he got drunk last night or something. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And so my dad gives me a call a couple, like an hour later, and he's mm-hmm. like, dude, I called your mom. I let her know I was staying there. We were fighting, and don't you worry about it. Like, I, oh, I, I was in touch with her. She was just <laughs> tripping. It's all good. It's all handled. But man, did I meet this fucking really cool guy last night? Like, holy cow, I was like, what, did you meet your new boyfriend? And he was like, yeah, it was cool. And I was like, well, and he just goes off spewing on this dude. And he's like, oh, so he's about this, the age of your your brother. And my brother's 40. Yeah. Uh, almost 40. And he's like, we were just fucking vibing, you know. And then I was on my way to take him home in an Uber. And, you know, we were just having a good conversation about yeah, guitar yeah. and this and that. And blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I drop him off and he has this beautiful three bedroom house that he owns it himself. And he, and he brings me in. I'm like thinking to myself, I was like, dude, this sounds like some good, like, serial killer shit. Dude, he lives in Florida. Oh, you know, there's some weird ass yeah. people in Florida. I don't know if yeah. this guy's housing like 45 crocodiles. Oh, fuck. You know, and they're just going to rape my dad when they walk out. I don't know, bro. Like, it's oh, fucking Florida. Florida and when he's telling me the story, like, the guy's like super fucking chill. And I'm like, okay, man, like, He's like, yeah, we just fucking drank beer, and one beer turned into two, two beers turned into three, we played guitar all night, we were just making songs, we were recording. That sounds like a kick-ass time. Yeah, and I was like, wow, dude, that sounds really fucking cool, dude, like, fuck yeah, and he's like, dude, you know that fucking podcast you do, bro, like, we're gonna start a YouTube channel, and we're gonna do this, and do that, like, we're gonna do that, and do this, and I was like, dude, that sounds like my dad is coped the fuck out right now. Yeah, it sounds like (laughs) it. I was like, and it was also like 10 in the morning too, so I was like, damn, he's either really excited or he's still jamming from last night, dude. And I was right like, eh. <laughs> you know, and I was just laughing at him, and I'm like, dude, uh, fuck yeah, man, we're probably, and even if it wasn't that, uh, you know, it couldn't even, uh, maybe it wasn't even like that, but it was just funny, it sounded like my dad was pitching me YouTube, uh, and podcast ideas and I was sounds like, like you had a great time with I was like either this guy was coke the fuck out last night when you got home and you couldn't catch it because he was like dude we should do this we should do this bro we should do this bro. we're gonna write a song uh, <laughs> yeah. you got the Uber's like hey do you play guitars I do oh my god well, I was a think about it this way the dude invites and I'm dad I'm gonna do 